That's where we head next with Rob from Fanatic against Little DC from Four Kings. Rob has only two wins this season and six losses. Little DC uh, also has two wins, but only two losses to go around to go with them. Game one is close positions on Knollwood, and Rob starts off killing the first archer from Little DC. But DC almost comes back with a Beastmaster kill, but instead he just loses another archer. DC chases around the Blademaster for a full minute trying to kill it, but without a boots of speed he has no chance to get it. Despite losing two archers, he has seven at tier two and goes for an Ancient of War push. Problem is, he doesn't get uh, the Ancients of War down for quite a while. Archers fall very quickly, so you need to give the Ancients of War every second you can to finish. The battle's fairly close, and the Ancients are close to finishing, but the Demon Hunter has to Town Portal, and the towers uh, get taken down easily. DC comes back to try again, and he has many more archers than uh, Grunts and Raiders for Rob's, uh, but those Boots of Speed come back to haunt little DC, and a Demon Hunter kill seals up the victory for Rob. DC sends us to Twisted Meadows, where he goes with an uh, with one Ancient of War hunt build. Rob saves a stray grunt with a well-timed speed scroll. At Tier 2, DC gets a Creepjack, but he still doesn't have the firepower to make anything of it. He tries for the Tier 2 harassment, but neither he or Rob can get the advantage. DC goes for bears, and he can't fight early against raiders, but Rob backs off after a, bla a Beastmaster kill. Rob knows he needs some help and comes in with a sapper to try and even up the game, which puts DC into negative food. He comes back and continues the harassment again. Little DC goes in for the kill on Rob, but again he has to back off and protect his main. Rob tries for a Tree of Eternity kill, and he gets it uh, in time before Town Portaling out, but he still needs to fight against Bears to take the victory. His own gold mine runs out, but his expansion gives him some sort of gold advantage. Little DC splits his army up, and Rob can't even fight half of it. Both players dominate each other's base, but they both have expansions. Rob tries to kill another Tree of Life, but the Zeppelin gets to the Blade Master in time to pick up his corpse and nothing else. Rob gets the kill, but he exits the game because of Little DC's other expansion. For Game 3, it's Secret Valley. Now, some of, of you might remember at World Cyber Games, I said that Sky accidentally lost his Hero to Creeps when indeed he uh, he meant to lose his Hero to Creeps. Well, this time, I'm 100% sure that Lil DC did definitely did not mean to lose his Hero to those Creeps. At Tier 2, DC fights off Rob, but Rob still cancels an action of Wind. Rob times an expansion very well, just as, as DC goes in for Burrow kills. He gets three before both players use their Town Portals. Rob one-ups DC's Burrow kills, running in and taking out DC's main. Their armies are still equal, and little DC goes to, to fight, but his druids of the Talon are separated from his heroes. By the time the heroes rejoin them, there are only two druids of the Talon left. That victory for Rob is crucial for Fnatic. They need every single point they can get when they don't have to play Grubby or Todd. They get another chance to pick up a huge point with Satini playing against Zeus. Satini has been carrying Fnatic with half of their points. He went 6-0 in their first six weeks, but in the past two clan wars, he lost to Lin and then Ohiji. On the other hand, Zeus got his first win of the season last week against world elites like after a huge losing streak early in the season. Zeus goes for a single hunt build while teching for glaive throwers. Early on, Satini has a huge double wisp block to pick up an early lead. Zeus comes with a few archers, uh, kills in a creepjack on Satini. Zeus puts up an expansion seconds before Satini comes in and gets another hero kill, but in the battle, Zeus comes out with just a few extra units. Satini gets a kill on the undefeated in expansion, but as they fight again, Zeus comes out with a few extra units. That just continues to be the, the theme. Satini has a huge hero advantage, but the unit ad advantage goes to Zeus as he puts his expansion back up. They fight again, and this time it's obvious who has the unit advantage, but it's equally obvious who has the hero advantage. Both players run out of gold and walk their bases over to the next gold mine. Satini is holed up exceedingly well in his base, and Zeus just cannot push into it. Satini comes up with a special move he, he needs to win and takes out the expansion of Zeus. Still, Zeus has the army and tries to, to make a push. Eventually, Satini breaks out of the push and goes after the hero kills. Finally, he gets them, and a level 6 demon hunter seals the deal. For game 2, it's Knollwood, but it's close spawns, and Zeus goes for a dual Ancient of War hunt build. He gets a town portal out of the demon hunter and tries to push his, his advantage. He doesn't have the army to push in, but he is getting the, the siege to change that. With the siege, the game is close for both players. The hunters just fall quickly to, to the siege but the clincher comes when Zeus pushes Satini without healing up his heroes. Uh, finally, Satini counters the siege with bears, and it's all over. Fnatic picks up another point, moving them one point away from the victory. Four Kings needs Todd to get them a victory over Diesel to tie it up. 
Diesel has only played twice this season with an impressive victory over Remind and a loss to Shy. Todd, on the other hand, came, is just coming off of a disappointing loss in the World Cyber Games, uh, only making it to the round of 16. They start off on Echo Isles and Todd goes for a dual barracks push. The militia in the towers come in, but Diesel scouted it and Todd can't finish him off. Todd puts him at up an expansion and goes back to try again. He gets some kills, but losing his Archmage effectively ends the push. Diesel makes the push in with a level 5 Dark Ranger and Todd's meager army is no match for it. The Archmage falls again and Todd gives up game 1. In game 2, Todd creeps his Goblin Lab without the Archmage, freeing up his Archmage to go and do some harassment. He also creeps out his expansion without his, his Archmage while harassing uh, Diesel. But again, the Dark Ranger does well against Todd's army. Uh, but Todd does buy enough time for himself to get the towers finished. He finally takes out one of Diesel's expansions, but he can't stop the expansion at Diesel's natural gold mine. Todd tries to drop in with a Zeppelin and get the kill, but Diesel's fast enough to stop it despite the Goblin Sapper. On the second try, Todd takes out the expansion, but Diesel is able to dominate Todd's expansion, putting them equal, except that Todd is towering the upper right-hand corner ex expansion. But then Todd comes in with steam tanks and dominates Diesel's main. Uh, he doesn't have the, have the bears yet, so he can't uh, take out the steam tanks efficiently. With that, Todd just has to focus down each of Diesel's buildings. Diesel tries to rebuild his tree of life, but it falls and Diesel drops out. For game three, Todd starts with a beautiful tower. Because Diesel is on a hunter's build, his only fighting unit early is his demon hunter. If he stops to destroy the tower, his demon hunter couldn't harass. So instead, he opts to let the tower finish, which turns out to also be a mistake. Despite, despite spawning one base apart, Todd still tries for the tower push. Diesel was attempting to do what Creo did with a dual ancient of war build. But Todd gets a demon hunter kill, and when the towers finish, the huntresses fall. They kill the one tower only to see another finish second later. The demon hunter comes back and goes for the archmage kill. Todd doesn't town portal and lets his hero die, which leaves his footman there to, to protect the towers. With all the towers up, the game is over and Todd ties up the clan war at two points apiece, heading into the two versus two.